Amber, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming on. Of course. And Melissa's happy to join us this morning. <laughs> I she, am. She's glad Brad has a vacation day so she can join us for this Foodie Friday. Amber, it is <laughs> National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. That's right. I planned this just for you, oh, thank right? You, Amber. <laughs> yeah, you know, I love chocolate chip cookies. It screams nostalgia, yeah. right? I mean, we all have great memories probably growing up Absolutely. with cookies being mm -hmm. baked. I remember once when I lived in D.C., there was an airline, Midwest Airlines, that served warm chocolate chip cookies on the flight. We and it's just today. so comforting, right? Yeah, they're no longer a business, but <laughs> it was such a great memory. Absolutely. It, it really does take you back to childhood. Grandma making the cookies or mom or anything. So take us through your recipe that you brought today, Amber. Sure. So I'm putting a little twist on this today by using brown butter in these chocolate chip cookies. So have either of you ever made brown butter before? I have not. I've heard of it, but I don't know anything about it. Okay. This is really simple. It sounds super fancy, but it's so easy to make. So I know you mentioned you follow the traditional Nestle yes. recipe for chocolate chip cookies. Yes. You could easily do this with brown butter. So what you're going to do, right, you would use two sticks of butter for that yeah. recipe. So mm -hmm. using either a saucepan or a saute pan, you're going to melt two sticks of butter. You're basically going to heat it over medium heat. Don't go too high, otherwise you'll burn it. Yeah. Don't go too low because you have to melt it. It takes about 10 minutes and you'll see it starting to foam. It'll turn tan and then it will turn brown. And so I have an example here. I made this this morning. So this is this is butter here. That is brown, brown butter. butter. Yes. So go ahead and smell that, Brian. Smell it. It's, it's like <laughs> it a, smells. It's like a like candle like, that we're smelling. I know. <laughs> Oh, that does smell really it good. It smells sweet, yes. right? It smells sweet, kind wow. of nutty. Yes. Yes. So by browning the butter and doing that, you're going to introduce some nice nutty flavors to that chocolate chip cookie. Oh. Some, we learned something new today, at least Melissa and I did. Yes. How, and how do you end up getting them like this? What do you add after that? Right, so a couple of other key ingredients here, salt, right? So when we bake, we traditionally would use iodized salt mm -hmm. in the recipe itself, but to finish, I use a little bit of our coarse sea salt just on the top. A little bit of salt makes it sweeter. All right. Oh, and I'm then, learning all this new things. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> no, 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 no. You are totally fine. And you also, Amber, you brought the chocolate chips, of course, traditional, mm -hmm. but you also brought something else today. Yes. Yeah, so these are cinnamon chips. I just found these pretty recently. Uh, I think like because cinnamon. we're in August, right? We're getting into the fall Ooh, season. Yes. So a little bit of cinnamon with that chocolate, it's a great marriage. So might as well put it in a cookie. Pumpkin spice season. There you go. That you could do, you could find those too, right? That's or butterscotch. I know you mentioned that earlier. Or a white chocolate. You I could love do white you, chocolate. Too. You could do white chocolate. So this, I'm glad you brought these today. Uh, a great tradition here on this uh, this holiday. There's a holiday for everything, <laughs> and we love that they're for chocolate chip cookies. Amber, where can people find the recipe the way that you make them? Absolutely. Check out stirless.com. I have the recipe posted there. Also, you can give me a follow on Instagram, chefamber.rd.